All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 31 Derivatives Review. This is question 1B. I got to take the derivative of this expression right here. Now, I could approach this uh, a couple of different ways. I could very definitely use the quotient rule here. But you know what? If I don't need to use the quotient rule, I'm not going to jump on board and do it. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to expand the numerator. Okay? And that's going to get me, uh, what is that? It's going to be 2x to the fourth. That'll be plus 12x squared plus 18 all over x. And now what I'll do is I'll distribute that monomial denominator to each of those three terms. And that'll get me 2x cubed plus 12x plus 18. Actually, you know what? I'm even going to do it like this. Because I know where I'm going to be going in a few minutes here. So I'm just going to make that 18 times x to the negative 1. Now this is set up really nicely just for a straightforward application of the power rule. Bring down the exponents. So this will be uh, 6x squared plus 12, that's kind of nice, minus 18x to the negative 2. And then if I really feel the need to do so, I can write that as over x squared. I mean, I could also factor out uh, the 1 over x squared if I needed to. Uh, what I could have done is we could have made this, for example, I could have gone from here and factored out the x to the negative 2. In fact, I could have factored out the 6x to the negative 2 and made that, uh, what have I got, 6x to the negative 2. Uh, that'll make that x to the 4 uh, plus 2x squared uh, minus 3. And now let's just take a quick look here. And that actually could get factored a little bit further. Oh, I am running out of room here. So what we'll do is I will... We'll just factor that a little bit further here, right here. We'll do it real quick. Uh, that will become x squared, x squared, uh, plus 3, minus 1. And then this can become 6x to the negative 2, x minus 1, x plus 1. Whoops, and you can't even see that anymore. Sorry. x squared plus 3. Whoo, that one got a little bit nasty when you pulled that out here. But there's your derivative in factored form.